Are you ready to start now? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hello and welcome to episode eight of the Notion Nerds podcast. My name is Jonathan Stewart. I am. Oh, thanks for that. That really put me off the intro. It just hand. Eh, I thought I missed out something and forgotten something then. Cheers for that. Great. It's a podcast. They can't see you. They can't see me. Well, you're the one who's in charge of the videos. So. If yeah, you... that's easy. Just keep it going. <laughs> just keep it back. Introduce yourself to Jonathan. You're so rude. I know. Uh, my name is Jonathan. I am a simplicity specialist i help small business owners simplify their tech and all of the things related to their business so that they can spend less time doing the things they don't want to do and more time doing the things that they want to whether that is spending more time with their family or sitting watching netflix or making like hundreds of videos a day on the subject of hundreds of videos a day danny yeah, that, that's me. I wouldn't say hundreds of videos a day, but I'm definitely up there. So I am a content creator, mainly focused on YouTube, but I'm on numerous other platforms as well, all around social media. So you can see my face everywhere, which is great fun. Um, you but I help other sods. <laughs> yup. But I help other content creators essentially get stuff done quicker. So uh, get more done with less stress. Are oh, you you're out of, what's that, coffee? Or is it Tea. something stronger? Tea. Tea. Who drinks oh, tea? tea? Actually, you no, know, I had a discussion with uh, another Notion ambassador and they, they drink a lot of tea. I'm not a tea drinker. I can't drink coffee, so that's I why. I don't like it either. <laughs> do, you, do, you really think, do you really think, having spoken to me for numerous conversations now, that I need caffeine? Do you think I need no. caffeine in my system? <laughs> no, you do not need caffeine in your system. Although I'm very intrigued to see what you'd be like with caffeine in your system. I have no idea because I have, like, I tried coffee when I was like, I don't know, eight, nine. <laughs> Didn't like it. I haven't drunk it since. <laughs> it's an acquired taste, I've always been told. Yeah, I don't like the, the smell more of you, the, the more you drink it, the more you like it, supposedly. I absolutely hate it. I'm going to turn my phone on silent because I think that might have gone off. <gasps> Professionalism. Come on, we are PPs. PPs. Okay, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about pages versus databases. When do you use pages? When do you use databases? Which one is better? Which one is worse? And probably derailing the conversation multiple times. And Danny looks Inside like... Of Notion. Has... Hmm? Inside of Notion. We haven't actually said Notion yet. So I thought I'd just put it... I Honestly, mean, I know it says it in the... Honestly, if people haven't figured out that the Notion Nerds podcast is about Notion. Maybe they don't know Notion's an app and they, it's just the notion of being productive. That's, okay. why I call my, that's why I call my business business in Notion originally, the notion of being productive in business. But then people think, oh, you just do business in Notion. No, I do more than that. Anyway. Um, yeah, you sit at your computer and swear at the, at the screen when Notion starts crashing. <laughs> Notion doesn't actually crash for me because I have a computer that actually works instead of trying to use an ancient well, Notion computer. Notion doesn't crash for me. It just gets slow sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and don't stream with it, though. I do stream with Notion. I just don't show Notion on the screen. It goes without saying, both uh, Danny and I are Notion. Are you a consultant? I'm not an official one, but I do consulting work. Yeah. Uh, both myself and Danny are Notion consultants. We help consult with small businesses, teams. You do creatives. I focus on small business Try to, um, focus to help creatives. you. Well, we help anyone who likes Can't be doing work with lawyers and all that. They're, they're too professional for me. <laughs> I worked with an architect. He was brilliant. It was a great, great Notion build for the architect. But yeah, beside the point. Enjoyed that. Yeah. So you're, now th you're now thinking about how that works, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, I, I, you know, I've heard that conversation a couple of times and I've come up with a few different ideas. And obviously I've seen YouTube videos because I, I have a tendency to watch a couple of videos in my spare time. Couple. Just a few, not many. Yeah, I mean, it's only like 70 hours of watch time a week on YouTube. Um, Bear in mind, he does, he does watch that like two times speed. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I do tend to skip through videos as well. So the arrow key times two, uh, it does help. So pages and databases, we're now six minutes in and we haven't actually spoken about anything yet. So I, I want to start we off. We have 
we have we have introduced ourselves and explained who we are for people who are new to our to our a podcast because that's what peepees do podcast yeah podcast <laughs> podcast you just, <laughs> just, just made up your own word there yes i did well you made up peepees so why not yeah, but, yeah, but that's just two letters put together podcast anyway anyway pages on today's podcast episode um essentially the, the way i see pages and databases inside of notion is a page is where you show the stuff from the databases you want to see and the databases is where you store all of your shit <laughs> pretty much professional as always oh yeah oh yeah uh w- would you would you disagree no i, I think when when I'm working with so the, the people I work with primarily are new to Notion, so don't really understand the difference between the two. Obviously, we should cover the elephant in the room. Every database entry is in itself a page, but still it kind of counts to the point of like you store things inside of a page and a database holds the data and information that you want to connect together versus if you just have a page um with information you can't it's static it's it's still it you cannot do anything with it whereas if you want to do things with it which for anyone who's running a business or your tasks your projects your pe- the people your crm you will want to do stuff with that data you don't want to just look at it or ideas if you're a content creator you- your goals oh damn it. <laughs> don't go there don't go there. That was such a that was such a conversation. We may touch on that one in this episode. I'm, we're back. We're back. <laughs> um, I forgot what we were talking about before that. Now, John, you, you just you just you actually no, you were talking, so you put your own self off, your <laughs> own self off. Yes, I did just say that. That does not sound good. I you yeah you've put your own self off. It's bad English, but it works, and it kind of makes sense. Um, as you can tell, I'm filling time and I'm not using the word that our VA or your VA says not to use. I almost said our VA because I'm getting moaned at just as much. And I feel like I'm <laughs> I feel, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to get comments you, anyway. You haven't seen the episode yet, have you? You haven't listened to the episode. I can tell you haven't. You need to listen no. to the episode. You need to listen to the episode. And I can I can imagine that something's going to happen right here. Or, or just before? <laughs> probably. probably. You, you're yeah. going to need to listen to the episode because you have no idea what she's done. <laughs> but as, as long as I'm laughing and not I'm like hiding, then I'm good. <laughs> You'll be laughing. It is funny. Um, anyway, go back to what we're talking about. So yeah, pages is static information. You mm-hmm. don't want to be moving stuff around. That's just for very quick, dirty notes, like one-line notes. And then everything like your projects, the tasks you need to complete, they should all be inside of a database, in my humble opinion, because it's information that you want to move around and relate and connect and and it changes. Hmm. I think if there's anything, so I'm going to use metadata because it's the only word I can think of, but essentially if you've got something that you want to associate with a page, i.e., a date or a a status or anything that would be consistent through pages, i.e. tasks, you're going to have similar pieces of metadata on those pages. If there is any consistency between different pages, you might as well put them in a database so that you can filter and sort for those pages rather than have them as individual pages because then you'll just have to create a linked page everywhere, which is never fun. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Although now we do have the ability to hide backlinks. Thank you. No shit. But still. Link, but yeah, pages. Link, linked pages link pages have a place, but do they, they don't really. They, 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 no. <laughs> I was going to say, please, please elaborate on that. Well, I think actually no. no for I a think public they, page or for pages where you're working with other people, it makes sense as a wiki yeah. site. Yeah, wiki style, and I think that's where people come into Notion, and I really do believe people think that Notion is still just a wiki. This oh. is a, a, a PSA for you all. Notion is not a wiki. It it 
it is more than just a wiki. It can do I mean so much more. So much more. It's it's not just I mean this is gonna sound weird. It's not just the people that go to use Notion and the people that are looking at Notion from the outside, but it's also other applications that are trying to compete with Notion or other applications that are doing similar things to Notion. When you look at some of the comparison websites, comparison pages, you can look at them and go, I don't know whether you've explored the application quite enough. <laughs> I, d- I didn't want to. I didn't want to. So. Oh, come on, Mr. Mr. Rant about. I can't remember what it was you were ranting about. Oh, yeah, Ali. Um, come on, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Rant about Ali. <laughs> it was on stream. Yeah, but that wasn't a rant about Ali. That was just about YouTube in general. Okay, YouTube fine. Yeah. In general, and he just happened to be the person I thought of at the time. Okay. I could have gone with Thomas Frank or Roberta Blake or Nick Nimmon or let's think of someone else, Vanessa Lau or Catherine. Do you like Manning. a shovel? To I, dig I'm yourself throwing, out of that hole. I'm, <laughs> I'm just naming creators. Like all of them are great creators, but obviously there were the things on the stream, but yeah. Um, well, so I, I have like four different directions I, I want to go. You carry on talking while I try and figure out which direction I want to take it. Well, what if we created a page and then you could list all those down and then we can decide from there? Yeah, that really doesn't help. Yeah, no, I threw you <laughs> under the bus. I, I, I enjoyed throwing you under the bus for a change. Normally it's the other way around. Yeah, that, that, that is true. But then that, that's that's the fun dynamic of the conversation. Um, and as you can tell, I'm still trying to feel while I try and remember what I was going to say. But I don't remember what I was going to say. So we're going to carry on. And I'm going to think of something else to say. Um... <laughs> I'm just going to watch him squirm. Like. Watch him squirm. Like. 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 You know she's like. counting that. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking you at definitely it. you definitely haven't i can't wait for you to come back to me as of this recording rebecca he has not watched the episode that you just edited <laughs> no not quite yet so like 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 um i've completely like derailed the conversation i have no idea where i was going with you it you started saying like and now you're going to keep doing it <laughs> I was, I was doing that deliberately, but I'm not going to, I'm going to try and avoid it now. Um, so where was the conversation going before I completely derailed it and forgot what I was talking about? You're talking about metadata and being able to connect information together because only databases can do that. Hmm. And, uh, there's just so much power. That's in... where I was going with the content creation. Go. So when it comes... <laughs> so I finally have something to say and then you're like, oh, that's what I was going to say. Let me do it. Let me talk. It's it's brainwaves. You see, I, I saw your brain ticking over. I thought, no, we can't, we can't let that come out. Let's just <laughs> thanks. No, I, I'll let you talk in a second. Um, <laughs> I'm more important. I talk first. No, I'm really not. Um, so when it comes to the metadata, thinking about creators, videos, videos are essentially projects, and having metadata on those videos, if they were to be pages. You wouldn't be able to really link the pages well together. You could use the disgusting backlinks that Notion have. Um, but, yeah, I'm just saying it as it, as don't it is. Don't hold back. I, don't hold back. I don't like the backlinks in the slightest. Um, I would much rather have a relation and then relate the two or the three or the multiple different projects together. Um, as an example, okay, I will, I will justify my disdain for backlinks. I have a LinkedIn post, then I have a blog post, then I have a Facebook post, then I have an Instagram post, then I have a YouTube video, and then I have other YouTube videos, all linking to the same pillar piece of content, which could be a video. So I will have one video that has, say, 17 pieces of content that's going to that video. If I use backlinks, I would then have to go to the page to then find the information out about those pieces of content that have gone to that video. If it's in a relation, I can click on the relation property and see all of the properties of those pages right there and then without having to jump backwards and forwards between things. So I can see when I published all of those pieces of content. So how long ago it's been since I did a blog reference or a social media post or a reference. And I can do that all inside the relation property of the of the database that I'm in. If I use backlinks, I have to jump backwards and forwards between all of them and then remember the days, remember the times 
and it's just not convenient, not fun, not easy. So for that use case, for me, backlinks, not fun. And that is consistent across the board. If I'm looking at metadata through a relation property, I can do it from the database property that I'm looking at. If I use backlinks, I can't do that. So from a yeah. wiki style, yeah. from a wiki style, when it's just a case of I need to go from here to there, fine. But if you need to go back and forwards to find out information, pain in the bum. I'll let you talk now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you have thank been you. given permission. Oh, thank you. Thank you, old royal PP. Um, <laughs> by using databases, you have the power to go multiple directions at the same time. On pages, it's back, and and you can go forward again. You can go one direction. Um, bad back band. And, ha, hmm? <laughs> That's a band. I know it is. I know, shit one. Um, <laughs> Agreed. Absolute shit one. Um, some of the music's not bad, but some, like one or two songs. <laughs> but then you could say that about a lot of magi um, magicians. No, oh, I'm a magician. I mean, I did like magic when I was younger. Anyway, besides the point. Um, we said we were going to derail. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on to my next point because I don't remember what I was saying. I'll probably come back and say that. Another really powerful thing of using um, databases versus using pages is the ability to filter and sort. So you can limit what information you see at any time. Which, when you're running a business and you're managing, you know, 30, 40, 50 one to one clients, you've got projects on the go, rebuilding your website, rebuilding this, doing that, doing this, doing. When you've got lots of things going on, which for me right now I do, um, being able to minimize what I see is fantastic. Like only seeing what I need to see at any one time. And with the new, it's not unreleased as of this recording but will be released today at 5 p.m hooray um being able to limit how many entries you see whereby if you have a wiki style page you see everything and that's that which um, which which kind of sucks i think something to add on as well when you were mentioning the backlinks going backwards and forwards I use keyboard shortcuts. So I use control and square bracket to go backwards or forwards. Of course, you've got the square bracket and that, and that's yeah. what I was meaning. I don't mean the backlinks because they're all. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like you can use the control and then the backwards and forwards or you could use the arrow at the top left. So if I was to go backwards and forwards between pages, I wouldn't want to have to click on each thing. I would just use the shortcuts and go backwards and forwards because it's much easier to go left and right between two keys than it is to click on the pages and use the mouse and, I mean, I know I'm being really nitty here, but I think most productivity people are the same. That's yeah, the I, I am too. I was just trying to be beginner friendly. But then again, this is a nerds podcast, so no beginners ain't going to watch this. Um, <laughs> the listening to it is a podcast. Oh, it's also a video. It's a shush. <laughs> See, but you, refer it to, you, you refer to it as a podcast, and a podcast is audio. If it's a well, video... There are there are there are video podcasts too so shush yeah but that's a video podcast not a podcast he's making a stupid face at me now <laughs> <laughs> for those that are listening <laughs> so to be able to have the ability to sort information which just goes back to the metadata because you whenever you have tasks you need to have dates that just that's just uh. controversial i know don't at me. Um, Everyone at John. Why do you need dates on tasks? <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing that um, in like a month's time. <laughs> when it's just like everyone's starting to at me about dates. And I'm just like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> what is this all about? <laughs> oh, it's going to be great fun. Um, you just yeah. send me a message like, this is your fault. <laughs> Well, I suppose it'll actually mean my notifications increase. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, wait, no. <laughs> no, it's just daddy trolling me like months ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long burn troll. Um, sorting. I had an idea. Oh, I'm scared now. 
<laughs> Honestly, blog posts and YouTube videos are evergreen. So if you put a troll at the beginning or in the middle of one of those, <laughs> you just get endless things. It's like if if you if you like this or don't like this or have a question about this, go to this person <laughs> and just direct them. <laughs> just like at this person. <laughs> oh, that's completely that's, unrelated. That, that's crazy. Yeah, so every, funny. Everyone that's ever going to make a Notion video, if anyone has a question at john <laughs> business in notion um and he will answer all of your questions for you <laughs> just sitting there like you thanks <laughs> anyway <clears throat> back to the conversation when should you not use databases in your honest opinion I don't know whether it's a it's a should not, but I don't think you should use databases right when you start using Notion. When you brand new, you just started using Notion. I don't think you should go straight into databases. And the reason I say this is because as soon as you have a database and you click on open page, because a lot of people that are coming into Notion, they... I'm, I'm speaking from my experience working with some people that are just new to technology. Their brains do not navigate through pages well. If you if they click on a database and they go into another page, yes, the breadcrumb is there and the navigation is there on the sidebar, but I've seen a lot of people, they're just like, where have I gone? How do I get back to where I was? I, I, yeah. They just get lost. Um, so I don't think you should start using databases in Notion because a database in Notion isn't just a database and it has pages. And as soon as you go into clicking up open pages and you go down the rabbit hole of making pages inside pages, which are in databases, and you start that that trend, if their navigation skills either in the sidebar or their understanding of where they are in the Notion space, that the, it, it just gets them lost. And they're suddenly way further <laughs> into the, I'm confused, um, than they need to be at the start. Having said that, though, as soon as as soon as someone feels comfortable navigating through pages in a sidebar and they can understand the difference between page one and page two and they know what a database is, then start using a database for simple things. Honestly, I think um, Notion, this probably will be annoying for people, but oh well. I don't think everyone should use Notion. If you don't have a structure in place already, Notion is not going to help you create a structure. Notion doesn't have a structure. That's the thing. That's, That's its most point. powerful. That is the point of it. When I, I often see new people coming in as, well, why doesn't this have recurring databases? Because you need to build them in your particular way, in your specific way. Recurring databases? Right, recurring tasks. I was going to say, what? Recurring <laughs> You can make a recurring database. You could put a database in a template, put the put the core version of the database in a template, and then you're duplicating the template, and then you'd be duplicating. You could put that, you could put that in a button, in a in a, exactly. in a template and then you'd button. Have multiple versions of a database, and then you have got recurring databases. But why you would want that? My brain hurts right now. <laughs> how, how are you going to have recurring versions of the same database, which would create? Well, you would have a linked database inside of a template button. You'd have yeah, the main database, a new relation and then inside of the main right. database, you would have a linked database, which would have a relation to itself, and then inside of that, you would have another linked database, which would be filtered to have that. And you just, just that. Okay, that's because, how. because then every single time you create the template, you're going to get another relation property because it's going to be a new database. No, you would link it. <laughs> Oh, so you're linking them all to the same thing. Yeah, that's fine. Because if you're linking outside of one database to another database, you're going to get so many frigging relations. Every time you push that template button, you're basically saying, add a relation property. <laughs> well, we can hide databases now, uh, uh, properties now, so it's great. But still, I wouldn't want to go into a page and go, oh, 73 properties hidden. <laughs> You just open it and there's like 50 relation properties. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. I have worked with some people that have 50 plus properties. And yeah, I personally don't understand why. Um, but hey-ho, hey-ho. 
I, I well, think it's the power of notion. It, it's it's very adaptable and it's what you want it to be. And you can have a hundred thousand pages in a database if you want. <laughs> yes, we know you've tested it. I'm thinking of going to a name. million. Hmm? I'm thinking of going to a million. Of course you are. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I might, I might do a video on that. I, I won't be doing like a one, two, three, four, five to, to make the pages. No. I'll be using a series of import because that would take way too long. <laughs> oh, but... <clears throat> But yeah, that, that was that was very diverted. Um, when it comes to pages, how many pages, as in just pages on their own, do you have in your space? Rather than database pages, how many just just normal high up pages? What, what are they call top level pages, I think. Uh, it's the correct terminology. Because I know I have one. Oh, he's he's looking. He's checking. Yeah, I have one. I don't need any more because. Um, Everything else is in a database. So I have a database of dashboards, which gives me data, which I can only get if it's in a database. So are we just counting pages or are we counting full width databases as pages? Because strictly speaking, they are pages. Well, if you count a database page, that's just a database. So that would be one page and then databases. Isn't it? So I am in the process of moving stuff around, but once I finish moving stuff around, I will have... What, yeah, I'll have, I'll be the same. I'll have one page, one main, one page on the sidebar, which would be my main dashboard, and that's it. Everything else is going to be else. turned into a database. Um, I do have an old database page, which I'm still like just leaving there, going, eh, I need to fix that later. It's just <laughs> hidden in the sidebar, which I never look at. But apart from that, no. I also do have an archives page, which is actually completely empty. So I don't know why that's there. So we're just going to delete so that now. So I'm just going to delete that? <laughs> yeah, this is, I'm just looking at it. It's like a mess. I'm, I'm doing a huge revamp of my stuff as well. Mm. So I think both of us are with the new stuff that's been added um, as of today. Yeah. Like We're just like, hell yeah, this is opening up so much. And I think that's, that's the big point when it comes to building in Notion. The, the pages on their own, for me, are fairly useless. But when there is a page in a database, then you have almost all the power in the world. And now mm. we have the ability to hide the stupid frigging properties, which is like amazing. It's essentially, you get the page look with all the database power, which is what we want. The ability to turn off comments as well on some of the pages. Like, I don't in, use in terms comments of in my space. I know you don't. The only the only place you use comments is in my in 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 our joint space because it's the only way we communicate. Because no. I insist. Because I've got no friends in my space. Yeah, no one likes you. I don't want anyone in my space. Nobody it's my space. Nobody loves you, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you could sing. <laughs> You're a musician, aren't you? <gasps> oh dear. Do you know how hard it um, is to sing it out of tune? <laughs> When you can sing in tune. Anyway. I was going to say, is it is it hard to sing out of tune? I, I, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> <laughs> that is my talent. My talent is singing out of tune. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I, I have no intention of singing. Um, good. I, I came up with a really good point then. Yeah, I just forgot it. <laughs> <sighs> well yeah. Done. Um, I, I don't I okay, this this is massively derailed, but I'm curious. When it comes to the theming of pages, I'm not talking as well, I guess I am talking aesthetic to an extent. Um, but when it comes to theming of pages, like Christmas is coming up, and for some weird reason, people have already got Christmas decorations out, and it's like November. Um, yes, I know. I saw it on the news. On BBC News, they were saying, uh, I'm in the UK, just, just to clarify, because some people, for whatever reason, think I'm from Australia. Um, but yeah, so BBC News, they were saying that people have basically brought Christmas a month early because of how bad the year's been, and they're just going to do it again in December. <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, but yeah. So in Notion, do you 
theme your pages for whatever's happening. So when Halloween comes around, do you theme it for Halloween? No. Okay. I was going to say, I don't know whether your mic's muted or you don't at all. No, I don't see the point. It's only for me. That's true. I mean, if okay. Rebecca desperately would like to theme it at Christmas time, then sure. But for me, you know. What? I just. I'm just saying. <laughs> so. You, you, you said theming around Christmas, and my brain went, oh. So. There's a Christmas countdown. Because of Advent calendar. Databases. Yeah. You have a date. Yeah. You could use a formula. To, for filtering or you could just filter for the date and then you can open up the page so you could make your own advent calendar with the gallery view having different things and then because you can have the number of the the day on the gallery view as an image and you could make a christmas calendar inside of notion because then you can find the page and then click on the page and inside the page it could have a gif or whatever that's so cool <laughs> You see why my eyes are like all oh, idea. <laughs> now we need to make a Christmas. T- th- th- this is going to be a template. This is going to be a Notion Nerds template. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I just put it as a task. Great ca- Christmas calendar in Notion. Yeah. I, oh, that's so cool. But that's so cool. We got to do that now. We got to do that now. We got to do that. You can change all the images. Like just just making one. Just making mm. one and having it, like everyone's idea. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so cool, right? This and this is where both of us get our ideas from. Just random conversation. We're like, oh, that's so cool. And this actually relates to databases and pages because if you were to have it as page, you wouldn't be able to see the gallery stuff. It wouldn't be in a gallery view because you need a database. And that is the power of a database in Notion. Well done. You bullshit that, didn't you? Also, following on from that, you'll be able to, actually, this is great. We're actually being able to follow on from this conversation. It's great. Um, <clears throat> following on from that, the ability to see the data in different ways. If it's a page, it's just a page. That's all you get. You get your lot. You can't change it. You can't do fuck all with it. Oops. Sorry, Rebecca. I've been told off for swearing because otherwise they have to mark it as uh, explicit. Can you just like beep it out? I don't know. Yeah, we can. Oh, uh, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Carry on. I think, yeah. I, think, um, I, think I think I said dog poo at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know where I went with dog. It could be any poo, but yeah. <laughs> I'll call the dog later. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, make sure. Anyway. What was I talking about? <laughs> not poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, dear. that's it. Like with pages, you get what you're given. You don't get. You can't customize it. You can't see that data in different ways, um, which is fine for things that are static and don't change. But if you've got information that does change or is linked to other things, for example, SOPs, I see a lot of standard operating procedures being put as a page. Which intrigues me. Uh, Marie Poulin does that. And I was like, why a page? A database would be far more powerful. I think a page to have it all on, like we've got our dashboards, to have a dashboard and then on the dashboard to have different sections where it would be filtered as lists, I would find that more powerful versus having it just being a, a, a bunch of pages. I guess my SOPs are pages, but they're template pages in a database. Yeah, your SOPs are useless the moment you have someone else join you. Unless I duplicate it. No, no, they would be useless. Because? Because, one, only you know what each of those tasks are. Well, yeah. But I can expand and two, them. you only you know how to. Like it's not in an easy to find page. 
there's no videos guiding there's no explanations on how to research there's no in uh, well the scripting is 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 yours anyway but like there's no guided <laughs> stuff on bullet points on page and then talk for 10 minutes <laughs> yeah basically um it's there's like, no oh, there's no oh, description oh. on how to edit a video like you don't that's have those sops but hmm? that's because they're not they're not written for other people at the moment if i was to write them to other people then it wouldn't be difficult to change the format that it is. I mean, at the moment, my SOP page is essentially my storage page. Yeah. It's just, it's, yeah, it's, it's coded for me. <laughs> it's written in a yeah. way that I understand it. Uh, and if I was to turn that page into an SOP page or a page in a database, cause that's where it is, uh, then it wouldn't be that difficult because I've already got the SOPs there. It's just a case of expanding so that other people understand what it means. Mm. I think uh, that was ideally, the biggest I, I, that was the biggest shift for me having to learn how to do that if I, because I was always doing everything myself so being able to go okay how do I explain what I'm doing to someone else and notions really like my notion system has slowly been changing to accommodate that because it's not just me anymore whereas in me I, it was basically just yeah chuck this here chuck this there do this here do this there um but now it's it's becoming it's not fully because I know that Rebecca is editing this video and podcast. And she'll be like, I don't understand half your stuff, John. It doesn't make any sense. Probably. <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. We'll, we'll find out. Dom will make an appearance. Yeah, we'll find out sorry, when we hit. When we Bob hit will make an appearance. Bob will make an appearance and 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 will explain to us how badly I explain it. Oh dear. <laughs> <clears throat> i'm in trouble now but yeah i think yeah having your data in different views and seeing things in different ways is another really powerful thing about having databases versus having just pages pages are static they are what they are and do not change that is it pages are for storing databases <laughs> but it's not even that because uh, like we we both have one page and it, basically the reason we have the page is because we can't put a high up page inside of it we can't put a database in itself so we need a page to store the stuff so we need a page to store the database that stores everything else because we can't put a database in itself that's the only reason we have a page yeah. otherwise, otherwise it's databases yes <laughs> And trust me, I have tried to put pages of a database in itself. And Notion tells you you can't put the page in itself. You can't put a database in itself or something like that. It gives you a, a notification telling you you can't do that. But when it comes to, I guess when it comes to database pages, because database pages are essentially the exact same as a normal page. It's just they've got properties. <laughs> Because it functions the same. You can still do all the slash commands, still do literally everything. Um, as as another application said, it's just like a doc. <laughs> just an advanced version of a doc. Um, they like, definitely don't know Notion. <laughs> it's beyond a bloody uh, doc. <laughs> no, oh. uh, but with the, with the database pages, I think if... You, if you don't, for whatever reason, you don't use relations, you don't use rollups, and uh, I mean, if you don't use formulas, who doesn't use formulas? But yeah, if you, if, <laughs> if you don't use formulas, just being well, ironic here, you don't really need to use formulas in your system. It's only if you want to be super nerdy and do really specific things, or want to add yeah. the. I I see formulas as almost like add-ons. Yeah, I guess to an extent. I mean. It's I'm integrated space. in there, but like... space basically around the formula now. Um, but it doesn't need to. No. No. Yeah. Um, but where I was going is if you if you don't need a formula or, or you don't work with dates or anything like that, you could quite simply work on a page with blocks. And lots of people do. And you'll see a lot of the YouTube videos, their dashboards are a dashboard. It looks very aesthetically pleasing for that individual. Uh, and it's just covered in blocks. 
you just covered in to-do blocks and written blocks and loads of blocks, <laughs> toggles and you name it, all over the place. Um, so it definitely works. And depending on your use case and depending on how, I guess, whether you're a power notion user or not, I don't, I don't know whether that's the right word to use uh, or right term, not word. Uh, but essentially, if, if you're not using notion for big, powerful task management, project management, or the rest of it, or you just like to write stuff down, you don't really need a database. But I would definitely use one <laughs> if it were me. Yeah, I, I, <clears throat> I feel you should be familiar with Notion and then move to databases as soon as you feel comfortable. Mm. Because that's, cause otherwise you might as well use a Google Doc. Yeah, I was going to say that. Frankly, frankly, you might as well just use a Google Doc. If you're not going to use databases, don't use Notion. Because the freedom that you get, the flexibility that you get, and everything you get comes from Notion. Notion's databases. Mm -hmm. And that's why no one followed Notion until they reached 2.0 and added databases. And then all of a sudden, Notion exploded. I used it. You didn't use Notion at 1.0, did you? Yeah, not for long and not much, but I used it. Yeah, <laughs> I told you my first page was literally a page with to-do blocks. Partly because yeah, that's I, all I, I saw 1.0, I wasn't interested, came in 2.0, early Marie Poulin stages and got excited and enjoyed it. Yeah, no, I, I was using Notion with no databases, but it wasn't for long and I didn't use it much mm. <clears throat> because it was literally just a page with to-do blocks. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. It's a long list of tasks. Um, and then databases came in and then I turned all those tasks <laughs> into properties. I had like a hundred something properties, which was... That That moves on to something else. Remember, like... <clears throat> oh, damn. I nearly went a whole episode without saying like... So close. <laughs> How did I not? Uh, I don't think you did, but then I'm not really uh, paying attention. I'm not really trying to count the amount of times you say a word because yeah, I'm not as I'm not as petty as that. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Yes, we're gonna get it now. Is <laughs> <laughs> gonna just like put like a total? <laughs> Said this <laughs> word this many times. This word this many times. That'll be the end credits. Repeated words. Karen's. It is the end credit. Watch that. Oh, is it? To the yeah, she's actually put that. Oh. Thank you for joining the Nation Nerds podcast. If you're interested, the nerds used 94 likes in this episode. She actually did that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. I came out with that. Similar, similar thought, thought process. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> it goes on without okay. saying, even if you start using pages, you can turn those pages into database entries. You can turn anything into a database entry. I think anything. Yeah. I don't think there's anything you can't turn into a database entry. Well, because it's just what you put on a page. A database entry hmm. is whatever you can include on a page. So if you can put it into Notion, you can put it in the database. Can you move a call-out block into a database? Yes. It just like goes turn a call-out it. block into a database. Oh, turn it into a database. Like a database entry. Well, yeah, you just drag it into the database and it turns into a page. Does it have the icon? I don't know. I haven't done it in a while because I don't use call-out blocks. Mm, I do a little bit, but yeah, that's beside the point. Anyway. I, would, I would imagine just from knowing the functionality, what it's going to do is it's going to create a page, call the page untitled and dump the callout block in the middle of it. Potentially, or, yeah. Or it's going to put the name of the page as the callout block and then just get rid of the callout block. Mm. I don't know which way, which way around it's going to go, but yeah, you could definitely do it because you can do it with everything. Yeah. And, and so often with my workflow at the moment, when I'm brainstorming what I'm going to be doing for a larger project, I actually bullet point or tick box my tasks out, especially if it's a new workflow that I haven't done yet. I do like brainstorm everything first as a bullet because it is faster just to bullet things out. And then of course, if there's stuff that I don't really need to do, I can remove them. And then from there, I 
take it and put it into the database because that for me works really well because it's it's much it well it's minutely faster to be able to create bullets than it is to add a, add an entry into a database because you can also use indentation and kind of nest subtasks in there and then drag that in and then those nested subtasks are added in and i find that really for me i like that workflow I'm going to add a couple of things. Firstly, it's very dependent on how much stuff you've got in the database as to how quickly you can add things in. For example, my database, um, it's much quicker to do it on a, on a scratch pad, which is what I have, than go yeah. in and out of that database because I've got loads of formula properties in there. So whenever I load the database... Uh, also, thinking about it, if you have any form of filter, you, it, it opens the whole page which well mm. opens half page obviously the little window so yeah the it's window. it's faster just to bullet it and then drag and drop it and then it assigns who i want it to assign to it does all the filtering so it adds it to the project adds it to the area and everything and all that juicy juicy nerdy geeky stuff um oh yeah have we done an episode on that well filtering hmm no that'd be no. good one because oh, fil filtering in its own like you've got auto filters then self-reference filters then advanced filters and those funky three filters i'm gonna add that as funky. a i like that as, as, a, as an idea for the future yeah so i'm, I'm going to expand on on what you were saying in a second for a second um i have a scratch pad on my dashboard which is quite literally just a space for text blocks and i use that as my notepad essentially uh so any note that I, any idea, any thought, any note from anywhere really uh, that doesn't have an associated resource. So if it's a note from a video, then I will clip it and then it will be in the database already. But if it's a note from a conversation or something quickly to write down, what? Sorry, I, it's, 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 you know, I think it was a couple of episodes back we were talking about the deletion of relations and the fact that it doesn't delete the sodding relation. Um, you do realize that our project database, you know, how we remove the podcast idea database? Uh-huh. It's still there, even though we've deleted the page. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. It's just... uh, I, I haven't really been into our space because obviously the stuff I need is linked in my space. So I've got the database is linked to my space. But yeah. Um, yeah. So with the, the scratch pad, I use that to grab all of my notes. And if I, so this gives me the choice am I going to use that note or am I not? Then I can delete it if not. And if I do, I just drag it into the the appropriate database, whether it's a task, whether it's a note, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a little task. Yeah, and, 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 and I think that's where a page, I suppose, comes in handy, just to have a little bit of space just to go, eh. Although we do use databases primarily, I think it's... I suppose it's like pre-action to action, isn't it? When it's pre-action and we don't know whether we're going to do it or we really haven't got a clear idea, it goes into a scratch pad note block, basically. Whether that be a bullet, whether that be a to-do, or whether that literally just be a bit of text. Dummy page. Or a dummy page. Episode one. Ep episode episode one. one. <laughs> episode Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, so with with pages in my space, I use a dummy page .com. a lot of the time when I'm planning things out. So mm. in my scratch pad, I will write page, use the shortcut control shift nine to make it into a page because Jonathan can't do that for some silly reason. Um, no, it does work. I'm just an idiot and keep forgetting the shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, I started doing that now. I'm just like, but to be fair, forward slash page is actually slightly faster. Because it's closer. It's, it, it's faster to make the page, but then you have to title the page. Mm, yeah, good point. I write the name of the page and then control shift nine. Mm, yeah. And then because my finger's already on control, I'll go control shift nine, control enter. <laughs> yeah. Because I've already highlighted the page, so I go into the page. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's like really, really weird and nerdy stuff. But yeah, so I'll use a, a dummy page. This is a page. podcast. That's the point. We're supposed to be nerdy. 
Yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll use a, a dummy page to plan things out. And the reason that's useful is I can have the blocks and the databases in there. And my dummy pages will have numerous iterations of the same database in multiple different views, especially when I'm playing around with formulas. You will see like 30 properties <laughs> in a database, all different formula properties working different things. For I algebra do a reason. formula episode. I know I'm, I know we're going to do a formula streaming episode uh, mm. I think it's two weeks from now um, where it's literally just going to be <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's called it's called formula fun yeah oh I knew that so, yeah so the idea is to go through building formulas why you build for the formulas when you build them how we build them that sort of stuff we won't obviously go into all of the functions because that's going to be way too long um, and nobody cares I do. <laughs> <laughs> Your mic's gone. Mic off. drop. <laughs> um, yeah, I I could literally do that. I could literally drop my mic, but I'm not going to because it would probably break it even more. Yeah, don't do that. I think that yeah, fairly leaves us quite comfortable. Uh, fairly leaves us quite comfortably to the end of the episode. <laughs> we are English. We do speak words. <laughs> we speak words of english nature thank you very much for joining us for this episode of the notion nerds podcast if you enjoyed what we were blithering on about for an hour it would be great if you could leave a comment or a review a review that's the that's the chicken um leave a review with feedback i don't know come from i don't know ah uh, Oh, okay. And and I will. Uh, we don't even have well, I will. I only me. Screw him. Um, and we'll see you on yeah. Sunday. Rewind what? I don't know anymore. I'm tired. I need a drink. <laughs> You're tired. It's in the middle of the day. Yeah, I was up till two a.m. I was up till four. <laughs> and I woke up before you as well. Wait. I woke up before you. How do you know? Yeah, that's what I was, just, I was like. Wait, so I, I had four four hours and twenty minutes sleep because for some stupid reason my boy woke up at eight twenty. Thank you very much for joining us, and we will see you in the I next in. <laughs> episode of the podcast. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.